love him so when he flips that dough he's pizza boy usa what is up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the 2020 bmw x3 m courtesy of apple bmw in york pa always excited to drive any m car including this x3 suv so needless to say i am pretty darn hyped to be in this one today and as always i will be going over everything about this one testing everything out that i possibly can on the x3 m so what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so msrp for the 2020 x3 m will start at sixty nine thousand nine hundred dollars did want to also mention there is an x3 m competition package that goes for seventy six thousand nine hundred dollars if you wanted to go that route but regardless power setup is going to come from a three liter twin power turbocharged inline six cylinder definitely beefed up from the typical engine setup that you'll find on the x3 and the x5 this one is the m performance tuned one so this one therefore is going to put out 473 horsepower at 5600 rpm 442 pound feet of torque available at 2600 rpm power sent to all wheels through bmw's x drive all-wheel drive system by the way this all-wheel drive configuration in the x3m is actually sourced from the m5 in case you guys were curious there that's pretty darn cool power sent to the ground through an eight speed m sport automatic with paddle shifters which you guys know of course we will be testing out in a little bit here but with launch control because i know everybody is wondering zero to 60 time comes in at approximately 4.1 seconds that's crazy for an suv top speed 155 miles per hour with mpg numbers coming in at 14 in the city 19 on the highway of course taking premium unleaded fuel but so if you did want a little extra horsepower the x3 m competition package will do that for you same engine setup tuned a bit differently putting out 503 horsepower at 6,000 rpm 442 pound feet of torque available at 2600 rpm sent to all four wheels once again through an eight speed automatic zero to 60 time four seconds flat tenth of a second quicker to 60 if you were to go with the competition mpg numbers 14 city 19 highway and so before we do that paddle shifter tester acceleration test on the x3m did want to mention the drive modes and by the way if you guys are wondering looking at the screen right now what those bright red little shifter paddle looking things on the steering wheel are those are the drive mode buttons you can preset them actually that's what the one and the two is there for you can make one your sporty driving mode one your comfort driving mode let's say and you really can adjust just about everything all those buttons are located just to the left of the shifter whether it be steering sensitivity throttle response shift points suspension settings and there is actually a button to adjust the exhaust sound as well so i'm going to actually leave it on the loud exhaust mode because that is my style i have a super loud mustang so that's just what i'm gonna do and we will get to the exhaust clip a little later in the video don't worry about that but so having said all that there is actually a manual shift mode all i need to do is simply slide the shifter to the right now i'm in fourth gear the gauge setup is telling me is not shifting for me that's pretty darn cool so i'm gonna shift before i get too high there but having said that now what i want to do is test out the paddle shifters we'll see how quickly they react for us and uh I'm sure we're gonna get some nice engine sounds out of that too so what do you guys say let's do that and then we'll do the acceleration test on this one did i mention you can actually adjust how quickly the x3m shifts by using the buttons on the shifter there but having said that let's put it in first gear we'll do it together acceleration and paddle shifters and here we go oh my gosh <laughs> oh my gosh i feel like i feel like that gives you an ab workout that acceleration was absolutely ridiculous oh my goodness that was fun <laughs> and there was no slippage whatsoever of course with an all-wheel drive system you're not going to get that you definitely are going to scare your friends and family if you hit the gas like that with them in this suv that was absolutely freaking wonderful I like this but anyways as always to go along with that acceleration braking is equally important so as expected you will find m compound four-wheel ventilated disc brakes as far as sizing goes up front they're going to come in at 15.6 inch ventilated front discs in the back 14.6 inch ventilated rear discs as far as that 15.6 inch goes i have a mustang gt my brakes are 15 inches even so these are quite beefy brakes especially considering this is an suv so that that is absolutely wonderful i will say that and of course with that cross drilled rotors blue painted calipers as far as the braking feel goes 
It's absolutely brilliant. There is no brake pedal delay whatsoever in this thing. So instantly brings you to a stop in the X3M. You gotta love that. Touching on suspension and handling up front, you're gonna get an independent strut type front suspension in the back, independent multi-link rear suspension, front and rear stabilizer bars. It's all pretty standard for the most part, but X3M also gives you an adaptive M suspension. So any adaptive damping suspension, the way it works is it's gonna give you the best of both worlds. It's gonna tighten up the suspension during heavy cornering, but it is also going to monitor each shock absorber individually, giving you better ride quality as well. So again, best of both worlds. That's definitely a feature you want on any performance car, including the X3M here. So absolutely love that. And since we're touching on it, as far as ride quality goes, definitely smoother than my Mustang. We'll say that. Certainly no issues with that. This is a luxury BMW. It's pretty much as expected. We'll say it doesn't feel quite as smooth as the X7 I just drove or an X5 or something like that, but it is a performance car. And again, you can actually adjust the suspension settings using the button to the left of the shifter. I just have it on the super sportiest setting right now but again you can adjust it if you did want a smoother ride in the x3m as well so best of both worlds once again as far as cabin noise goes i'm just basically getting the air from the climate control right now but other than that not a whole lot of exterior noise is coming into the cabin so another big plus there for you touching on visibility i can see perfectly fine out the back not as not as good as the x7 i just recently got done driving but still visibility is definitely on point for this particular SUV, so no issues there. Rain sensing windshield wipers also coming standard on this. That's definitely nice. And I should mention, I am looking at a head up display projecting my speed and the speed limit up on my windshield right now. That is actually gonna come with the executive package that goes for $3,900. So that executive package is also going to include, in addition to that, a panoramic moonroof, rear window sunshades, gesture control, wireless charging, heated steering wheel, heated front and rear seats, and parking assistant plus. And I'll get more into all of that as I go on in the video, but definitely a very inclusive package, especially for the price you're paying there. Quite a lot included in that one, so that's a good thing. But I think as far as driving dynamics go overall, the best part about the X3M is the steering feel is so heavy i absolutely love it and i actually changed that before i started driving this one too i put it on the heaviest weighted setting and again that button's still located just to the left of the shifter but in addition to that you got the 10 and 2 grips which are super thick and bmw is known for that especially in their m cars so it gives you a better feeling of being in control of the car and the power side bolsters on the seat they hug you in place so if you did want to take the turns a little heavier in this thing you can do that because you got the power side bolsters kind of hugging you and again they're adjustable so you can move them out or in as needed dependent on your body type really that's a good thing as well but that about rounds out the performance segment of this review let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of this toronto red metallic 2020 bmw x3m all right so here she is you guys the 2020 bmw x3m such a beast of a car do want to start by looking at the front grille up here bmw active kidney front grille will come standard of course you got the x3m logo found in the upper corner on the side there chrome grille surrounds come with the x3m that's what you're looking at right now however that competition package i was mentioning to you guys that will actually add gloss black grill surround so it's going to differ slightly depending on which setup that you go with either way down below you have some gloss black accents including some nice air curtains directing air around the wheel and tire combination so that's definitely a plus for aerodynamics also when it comes to that lighting adaptive led headlights do come standard that comes with the automatic feature of course meaning when it starts to get dark out at night those headlights will turn on automatically for you there so you never have to worry about that and actually automatic high beams come standard on the x3m as well it definitely doesn't come standard on every SUV out there so that's nice too but now let's go ahead and make our way to the side on this one gloss black roof rails come standard regardless of if you go with the x3m competition or not that's what you're looking at right now of course rear privacy glass coming standard across the board as well gloss black window surrounds again standard either way you go with when it comes to the side mirrors they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors they will come heated with LED integrated turn signals and of course you can't help but notice that little fender accent down there with the 
M3 badging. It definitely makes it stand out from the other X3 trim levels out there. When it comes to that wheel setup, 20 inch double five spoke bicolor jet black wheels are the standard setup. Of course, there are 21 inch wheel designs available and that 21 inch wheel size actually comes standard on the competition package as well. I should mention that, but overall definitely a very sleek looking, very good looking SUV and that carries on to that rear spoiler. Let me show you guys up close on that. Rear spoiler definitely does have a very unique design. Definitely looks sportier back there and this is an M specific rear spoiler for the X3M of course with an integrated brake light as expected. Just below that rear window wiper of course you have the M badging found on the rear lift gate there as well. LED tail lights coming standard on this one and perhaps my very favorite part about the back of course without a doubt dual exhaust outlets with very large quad chrome tips. So I'm going to go ahead and just put this in the best exhaust mode because again there's a button next to the shifter where you can do that and make it super loud and fun. That is what I'm going to do and I think you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip. Alright, so now since we are around back, when it comes to opening that rear lift gate, as expected, it is a power lift gate. There is a button on the key fob, that's one way, or you can simply lift up underneath on the hatch itself. That's the other way to go about opening it up. Once opened up, cargo capacity is going to come in at 28.7 cubic feet behind that second row at least. With that second row folded down, that bumps it up to 62.7 cubic feet, which is a decent amount back there. Did want to mention to fold down that second row, there's a lever in the cargo area. That's going to be how you're going to go about folding the second row down at least. There's some cargo netting back there, LED cargo lighting. You don't always find LEDs in the cargo area, so I always like to mention that. Tie down hooks, and you have a cargo area cover actually as well. So plenty going on in the cargo area. Making our way to the rear legroom, that is going to come in at 36.4 inches. So for reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there. Also for those rear passengers, they will find rear ventilation. There is a rear center armrest with cup holders, 12 volt power outlet. And if you go with the executive package that we have today, you will also find those rear passengers will then get rear heated seats and rear window sunshades. And this is definitely a plus if you have a newborn or even a toddler. I always like to keep the sun out of my kids' eyes, at least when you're at that awkward angle and it's blinding them. So rear window sunshades are definitely a plus, especially if you have kids. So that's gonna come with the executive package. Make your way up to the front seats. 14-way power adjustable front seats come standard. That includes four-way power lumbar, memory settings for up to two different drivers, and power side bolsters. Again, I mentioned that. That is the best function when it comes to the seating, at least in my opinion, because it really does hold you in place around the turns. And in an SUV like this, that is important. <laughs> also another plus here, you have an illuminated M logo found in the headrest. You do have heated front seats, and the seats are definitely plenty comfortable. So absolutely no issues with seat comfort. And again, it kind of hugs you in place. I absolutely love that. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is leather wrapped. Heated steering wheel is optional, but it is available there if you wanted that. And we do happen to have that. Again, the button's located just above the M logo, and there is an M logo at the bottom of the steering wheel as well. So that's definitely pretty nice. And make your way to the startup. Let me first start by showing you guys the key here. You do have your M colors on the side of the key, I guess you could say. And then all of your buttons are located on one side, being lock, unlock the button, pop the rear hatch. Lock button is going to be the BMW logo in the middle there, in case you were curious there. But it is all keyless entry, so simply just put the key in your pocket, walk up to the X3M. There is a bright red push button start found just to the right of the gauges. So simply put your foot on the brake and press that engine start button there. And just below that is where you're going to be able to turn on or off the engine shutoff function when you come to a stop sign or a red light. It can turn off the engine to save you a little bit of MPGs there. If that gets annoying, just turn that feature off. That's where you're going to be able to do it. But once started up, there is a 12.3 inch digital digital gauge cluster that comes standard. It looks very, very nice. It's got the X3M logo found within the tachometer on the right side. Speedometer is on your left along with the digital speedometer within that. I love the digital needles that they put on here. They put little red tips at the end. I think that's pretty cool. Nice little added touch there. Overall, it gives you your basic information like outside temperature, trip A, trip B, different driving modes or suspension settings, whatever that you put it in. So all of that information you can find up there, including the speed limit of any given road you're on. If you didn't want to find it on the head-up display, it 
is within the gauges actually as well. But now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality. BMW always does an amazing job when it comes to this. Panoramic moonroof comes with the executive package. That's why we have it there today. Anthracite headliner comes standard. Dual zone climate control comes standard. Universal garage door opener is also standard. For up to three different garage doors, they can be found just underneath of the rear view mirror there. Ambient lighting also comes standard. You can adjust the colors by using the tech display. I'll show you guys how to do that in a second here, but plenty of different color options you can check out up there. I do like the M logos found throughout the X3M, including just in front of the wireless phone charger, another feature I wanted to mention there. So that's pretty cool. Dual cup holders, 12 volt power outlet. You have nice authentic wood trims around the shifter. And by the way, this is an M specific shifter. If you were to look at the X3, you're not gonna find this shifter. This is specific to the M, so that's pretty cool. Electromechanical parking brake just behind there. And within the center armrest, you have a decent amount of storage along with the USB charging port actually as well. And I do like the contrast stitching found up on the dash here as well. Again, the authentic wood trim carries onto the doors, not just around the shifter. You have an aluminum trim passenger side glove box opener a lot of times companies will leave that plastic so that's a nice little accent too m floor mats the list continues so very nice interior quality as pretty much as expected for any bmw but now let's go ahead and take a look at that tech display 10 and a quarter inch color touchscreen display comes standard and although it is touchscreen it is also voice activated there is a circular dial and buttons and you do have gesture control if you go with the executive package so we do have that today as well bluetooth and audio streaming comes standard android auto apple carplay meaning if you have a smartphone simply hook it up to the x3m you will find free navigation up on that tech display there's also factory navigation that goes standard as well whichever you're more familiar with or whichever you like better climate control settings there's weather up there ambient lighting let's get to that part here real quick that can be found under my vehicle and then vehicle settings lighting interior lighting and then you have colors like blue green lilac orange bronze i think since we have kind of this toronto red exterior we have to set this to orange you guys because that's going to look a lot better although i will say blue shows up a heck of a lot better in the daytime at least um, but yeah, orange is going to look better anyways at night. So I'm going to leave it there. Also, of course, you can check out your radio information though. And when it comes to the sound system, the standard sound system, you guys, is not the 10 speaker hi-fi sound system that you may be used to in BMWs. For the X3M, the standard sound system here is the 16 speaker Harman Kardon sound system. That's wonderful. 600 watts, two bass speakers under the front seats, seven tweeters. I think you guys know what we have to do next. Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out the clarity of this one. ridiculous amount of bass that is the first thing i'm going to say wonderful sound system for the x3m really no complaints from me absolutely love that last thing i wanted to mention to you guys on that tech display though is when you do put the x3m in reverse you will find a rear view camera letting you know who or what is behind you which is always is going to lead us into safety and so first thing i wanted to mention when it comes to safety the bmw x3m is an iihs top safety pick plus that is the very highest designation given by iihs that's a wonderful start right there front side side curtain airbags do come standard in the back you're going to have latch aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats tire pressure monitoring system comes standard front and rear parking sensors but in addition to that some of the more exciting or enjoyable standard advanced safety features are going to include pedestrian warning and braking frontal collision warning city collision mitigation lane departure warning and blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert it's going to be the little triangle icons in the side mirrors there but overall in the end when it comes to my final thoughts of the x3m acceleration is absolutely amazing you're going to get a kick out of your friends reactions or family's reactions if you were to hit the gas with them riding in this thing grip and handling are actually great as well and yet practicality is still there it feels like a sports car it handles great it accelerates great and you got the practicality of an suv so you could take it to get groceries you could take it on road trips it's really the best of both worlds quite honestly and however because of the m performance suspension it is going to be a little stiffer of a ride comparatively speaking to the standard x3 or the x5 as we are kind of in the x5 or even x7 price territory nonetheless this is still very enjoyable and it really only came to a select buyer that enjoys 
a nice blend of performance and practicality, including that beautiful exhaust note. You gotta love that as well. So overall, me personally, you guys know I am going to love this thing and I do. Definitely a very solid pick and it's an IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus so you can have the kids in it too and feel perfectly fine. So anyways, that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there. If you like, be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold rain sinks thing the